Good afternoon guys. It's my last day in Colorado today and we've decided to do the number one thing on TripAdvisor which is to visit the Denver Botanical Gardens. Uh, we're with our friends Brittany, Justin and Andrew. We're going to head in. Cool. Thank you. Thanks. We've just got ice lollies, hydrating because it's a very hot day. And as I wake up from this crazy dream I hope that things remain as they seem Cause as I wake up What have you found over here? And as I wake up from this crazy dream I hope the things remain as they seem. This would be so sexy. Have a house in it. Yeah. I wonder, do you think it costs millions to make a dome like this? Even a small one? This is my vibe. This is all my vibe. Humid, tropical. We basically just climbed into a tree house. Smell it. Yeah. The flowers. I love big leaves like this as well. Oh, weird. Feel this texture of this leaf. Whoa. It's like it super like grippy. It feels like plastic. And as I wake up from this crazy dream, I hope the things remain as they seem. Cause as I, I really appreciate creativity when it comes to like designing spaces. Like, check out this cool sculpture in the ceiling. It's like bright. And super organic. I hope the things remain as they seem. What are you looking at? Gonna reach the waterfall. Oh, here you go. Guys, check out these Venus flytraps. Yeah. They just look so mean. Can someone explain to me how a Venus flytrap has killed a massive cockroach? Now check that out. How, how is that even possible? So when I think of things being extinct, like living things being extinct, I don't often think about plants and trees. I just think of like animals you look, think back like the dodos and the Tasmania tiger and stuff. But this tree here was thought to have been extinct for millions of years until it was discovered in 1994 in Sydney, northwest of Sydney. There's only a hundred of these pine trees in the whole world and this one has been donated to these botanical gardens. That's crazy, isn't it? It's a very, very rare tree. This is a dwarf umbrella tree and I love it. Whoa! 1977. Okay, I just looked on Wikipedia. The oldest bonsai tree is over 800 years old. Something you guys can't experience from watching the video is the beautiful smells that we keep smelling as we're walking into different parts, like from the flowers and the trees and stuff. Oh wow! Is that a fish? It's like out the water. And as I wake up from this crazy dream, I hope the things remain as they seem. How does nature make you feel, Raya? Yeah, just like totally calm and like strange. I think the other day it feels like my lungs are emptier, like I can breathe better, but my heart is yeah. <laughs> We found a sprinkler to cool off. I hope the things remain as they seem. Because as I wake up from this crazy <laughs> Oh. Man, it seemed like it'd be like. You've got like all these sprinkles all ah. over your face. That feels good. Oh, there is an amazing rainbow if you stand here. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm getting drenched by it. 
It looks like Louis just did a shampoo commercial. Got his hair wet, comes out. Ah, so refreshing. <laughs> Check out these solar panels. No, it's so cool. How do solar panels make like... you feel? <laughs> Every time you ask me something, it's how do it make me feel? Good, because they're using solar power, and the sun is so strong anyway, why wouldn't we use solar power? Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got distracted by the goose. <laughs> no, but solar panels are awesome. We, when we get somewhere, Ryan, we need to make sure it's all solar powered. Yeah. Well, this is cool because it's like part of the roof. Yeah. It's like a honeycomb. Yeah. My Uber has arrived. It was a very brief trip to the botan botanical gardens, but it was awesome. Nick has given me his drone, which I'm going to give to JP. Um, well, he hasn't given it to me. He's, he's, I'm buying it off him. You're welcome, JP. <laughs> uh, because that's where I'm going. I'm going to Canada, meeting up with JP tonight. And, oh, uh, that's my Uber. Okay, bye. Yes, bruv. Thanks. Anyway, Nick and Andrew are going back to San Fran, and then they're flying back to South Africa. They're just having a little hug. Why are you guys hugging? You're not even leaving. Why is it not leaving till later? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in like a month or maybe yeah, or something. Somewhere. And I'll see you right in like five days. Bye. Thank you. Bravo. Right, let's hope I can take the drone on the plane as hand luggage. Thank you. Well, luckily, I managed to bring the drone on as hand luggage. I already have like the world's biggest bag. I don't know how they allowed this, but it's great. Landed in Montreal, Canada. This is my first time here. It's my first time to this province. And uh, I'm pretty excited, guys, because JP landed a couple of hours ago and he's waiting for me just outside. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be good to see him again. Yes, bro. How you doing? Pretty good, man. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh, how was your flight? That was like the longest flight ever, yeah? <laughs> I have a gift for you. Nice. We're gonna get some pretty sick shots. Yeah, man. Really good shots. Hello. I have a, a booking. Here's our Jeep, guys. Well, we've arrived, guys. It's 2 a.m. I'm looking forward to getting some sleep. But you must be more tired than me, bro. Ah, dude. I'm ready. I think we should do something fun right now. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of fun coming up. We're, we've got loads of cool activities. We've got the drone. Um, also, guys, I haven't told you why we had to get Nick's drone. Do you want to tell them the story of what happened to your drone? <laughs> so I had the Phantom 3, which is the previous one. And uh, I was in New Zealand, like, after repairing it, flying it to bring it out here, and it just decided to bugger off and fly far, far away. So. And it just disappeared? Yeah, I lost and my precious drone. You never found it? Nope. It's in somebody's yard doing its thing. So somebody would got lucky. Hopefully that doesn't happen to this drone. Oh, I am exhausted, guys. I don't really know why I'm so exhausted. Um, I felt pretty exhausted for over a week now and I can't figure it out. I don't know if you guys have any ideas of the kind of things that make you exhausted. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to get some energy back in my life. I can't figure it out. Um, but this, this weekend is going to be great. I'm going to summon energy from somewhere because there's just too many amazing things happening. Tomorrow we are going horse riding, and this place is just stunning from the pictures I've seen. Um, and obviously when we wake up we'll be able to see as well.
but um, I'm also super happy to be spending some quality time with JP again. I totally forgot we saw him in New Zealand. I think in the vlog the other day I, I said that we last saw each other at Buffer Festival, but no, we, we saw each other in New Zealand, which was, I think, back in February. Um, but it's, it's good to touch base again and reunite, reunite with JP. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.